It is January 14th, the night before the ban. Tomorrow, 50,000 schoolgirls will lose their education. Tensions are especially high in this house. We spent 48 hours documenting this family's crisis. Tomorrow is the deadline, and 15 January. We won't be able to take any risk. Zahuddin Yusufzai owns a private school for girls. It has supported his family for 14 years. Tomorrow he will be forced to close its doors. His 11-year-old daughter, Malala, faces the end of her education. When uh, I saw her for the first time, a very newborn child, and I looked into her eyes, I fell in love with her, believe me. I love her. I love her. I could manage her, right? The family doesn't know what they will do come tomorrow, but one thing has been decided. They won't leave SWAT. I may get um, uh, brain hemorrhage because of that pressure, that why I left my people in hard days. I should have been beside them. I must uh, bring them out from that quagmire. This is my duty. And if I die for it, I think there would be no better chance for me uh, to die better than this. On the last school night, Zahuddin hopes the Taliban will change their mind against closing the girls' schools. It's not catching today. Tonight, the Pakistani military has blocked the Taliban's transmission. But on the ground, there is little doubt who is in control. There are 12,000 Pakistani troops in SWAT. They are ever-present in the capital, Mingora where they are targeting Taliban cells like this one. But since last summer, they have been unable to quell the 3,000 Taliban fighters and their guerrilla insurgency. Zahuddin has taken in his extended family. They are afraid to live in the countryside. The military offered to guard Zahuddin's school, but with hundreds of schools already destroyed, he cannot take the risk. Like many in SWAT, he feels trapped, unable to trust either side. If on one hand, security forces want to open the schools and gunpoint, and on, on the other hand, the militant Taliban, they are going to close it on the gunpoint. So education is something uh, not, uh, it, it can't afford such a tight security situation. Inside their home, the family lives under siege. Zahuddin is on the Taliban's radar. So some nights he sleeps elsewhere to avoid drawing attention to his family. Yeah. And Malala often doesn't sleep at all. Have sound sleep, huh? Right? Good night. Good night. Sometimes I think that I will hide in the bathroom and I will um, call to police and they will come and they will save my father. And sometimes uh, I think that uh, I will to tell my father that you hide in the cupboard and they will not check the cupboard. <laughs> and I have many thoughts. Okay, like that. And when I'm not at night uh, at your home then? What happens? Uh, we are feeling that we are in a war zone. We hear a big blast and uh, we just sit in our beds. And then we sleep again. And so this hide and seek goes on uh, all the night. And that's our life. That's our life. <laughs> I'm very fearing today is my last day of school. Fear seeps into every aspect of life, even getting dressed for school. We are not using this uniform now and we go to school in plain clothes and I like my uniform uh, but uh, I'm not able to use uh, this uniform. In the morning, Zahuddin's anxiety is rising. At times, he asks us to conceal our camera. He is worried about who might be watching. We have some limitations. Zahuddin is known around town as a social activist. And although he has not received direct threats, other activists have been murdered. 
To avoid suspicion, Malala goes to school alone. In the war, um, the girls are going to their schools freely and there is no fear. But uh, in Sawat, when we go to our school, we are very afraid of Taliban. He will kill us, he will uh, throw acid on our face and he can do anything. In some respects, Malala and her classmates have already lost their school. 70% of the students stayed at home. Some of numbers may have 280 plus. One of her students, she came late to school. And when I asked her, why are you late, daughter? She told me that uh, her parents and her brothers were not allowing her to go to school because they don't want to take risk. So she told me that when her brother and her father was, went out of the home, she still till he came to school. Tomorrow, 13 teachers will lose their job. One called Zahuddin to say he cannot make it. So he told me that uh, while passing through the square on my way to school, I saw some beheaded cops. So now I am unable to teach to my student. As the school day winds down, Zahuddin faces the end of his career. Two-thirds of the parents have not paid last month's tuition. This very thought is very much killing, you see. Your efforts of 14 years, when they are, they come to zero. And, and we started from a scratch. Swat Veli! Swat Veli! At a special assembly, the students rally for their education. Even in the confines of his office, Zahuddin cannot escape the tension. You see in the background the eyes of the gunships and helicopters. So, it's very Most of these girls say their families will soon leave SWAT. But Zahuddin has a different take. He has vowed to spend a year fighting for his cause. It may be my idealism, or you may call me a crazy person. But when I'm asked by my friends that why are you not leaving SWAT? So I usually tell them that SWAT has given me a lot. Now when there are hard days on SWAT, and SWAT is in trouble. So as a good friend, I should not leave SWAT. But staying in SWAT could destroy Malala's dream. I want to become a doctor, it's my own dream, but my father told me that you have to become a politician, uh, but uh, I don't like politics and... Uh, <laughs> but I see a great potential in my daughter that she can do more than a doctor. She can have, she can create a society where a medical student would be easily able to get her doctorate degree. <laughs> Back at her home, Malala's social life is now confined to a courtyard. Her bedroom is a classroom, but she remains hopeful. They cannot stop me. I will get my education if it is in home, school or any place. This is our request to the all world um, there to save our school, save our world, save our Pakistan, save our South.